Orthiocordyceps unilateralis is an insect pathogenic fungus discovered by the British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace in 1859 and currently found predominantly in tropical forest ecosystems. The carpenter ant being part of this ecosystem makes its way through the forest and exposing itself to the fungal spores. It is then that these spores attach themselves to the exoskeleton of the ant and break through using pressure and enzymes. Once inside, researchers have discovered that the fungus does not in fact enter the brain. It takes control of the ant by releasing compounds that interfere with the ant's central nervous system, by doing so effectively controlling the ant's movements. The fungus goes through an initial period of incubation where it feeds off the ant. During this period, it goes by undetected by other ants, surprisingly, as sick ants get kicked out from the colony. As it goes by undetected, it causes convulsions in the ant, eventually taking over the central nervous system and causing the ant to leave the colony. The ant then climbs a plant and reaches a peak. At this point, it finds a leaf and by doing so, it locks its mandible, fixing it into this position. As the ant dies, the fungus multiplies and bursts out the ant's head, releasing its spores to eventually repeat the cycle with another ant. There are over 200 Orphiocordyceps species and it is thought that many of them have the ability to infect other insects. But do they have the ability to infect humans? We in fact inhale thousands of fungal spores when out in nature and in most healthy individuals there is no effect. This is because these fungal species cannot thrive in higher temperatures and so they cannot pass through the human body temperature and immune system. What if climate change can cause cordyceps to evolve and adapt to higher temperatures and therefore transitioning from a warmer environment to the human body would be minimal? While a fungus called Candida auris, first identified in 2009, has the ability to thrive in higher temperatures and infect humans, which may have actually evolved from global warming, the fungus can spread from human to human and has been reported across three continents, causing outbreaks in healthcare facilities and nursing homes. The fungus appears to be harmless to healthy individuals, however, if the fungus enters the bloodstream amongst those who are immunocompromised, the mortality rate ranges from 30 to 60 percent. With the ever-changing environment and evolutionary changes of new and emerging fungi comes the threat of infection to the immunocompromised. Therefore, there is an importance of producing antifungal vaccines, which would never have been considered in the past. Although healthy individuals are safe from fungal infections and a future wide-scale pandemic seems highly unlikely, it cannot be completely ruled out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.